What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition 2-pack box set. And it is on the Amazon-exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition Survivor Series jaw-dropping debuts 1992-pack of Gobbledygooker and The Undertaker. Now, that was a lot of stuff there, but this figure pack, we saw this back at the WrestleMania Superstore, and it was, I think it was early in the morning at the week, uh, you know, the weekend of WrestleMania. We got to see this go for pre-order on Amazon. Everybody was like, what the hell is this? Kind of came out of nowhere. And it is truly probably outside side of Doink, the most unique Ultimate Edition action figure we have ever seen in the Gobbledygooker, man. And it's kind of crazy because we saw that prototype way back at what, like San Diego Comic-Con, like 2014 or 2015 or something like that. Took forever, but they finally got it in the line somehow. And here it is, man, in this video. Can't wait to crack it open, see what this guy's all about, and find out what the hell we have in this Survivor Series jaw-dropping debuts figure set. So this box is absolutely massive, man. I mean, my hands here, I mean, I'll just, here's a random Randy Orton, man. I mean, this figure figure box is like two figures tall. It's probably four or five figures wide, and th this thing is a beast. It is huge. As you guys can see, you get some different logos. Mattel, Ultimate Edition, Survivor Series, jaw-dropping debuts. Nice shot of both talents there. And this little font right here is the Nike font. This is a font I use often. It's like one of my favorite fonts. I use this in thumbnails all the time, and I, I'm pretty weird on like recognizing fonts and stuff, so I just wanted to add that in there. Now, if we spin it around to the left and right, you will get kind of like a match card set up. Undertaker, Survivor Series, Gobble with Gooker. Spinning it around, you get a little debut shot there. That kind of reminds me of like a Kodak camera shot right there. Got Survivor Series 1990 hatched two new WWE superstars, one from an egg and one from the grave. Pretty unique there. More logos here. And then on the other side, you get the Ultimate Edition Gobbledygooker and Undertaker stuff there. And then at the top, you do get the WWE Survivor Series logo. Now, when you receive this set, it does come in a shipper box, much like other Mattel products and stuff like that. So you get the box inside of a box that comes in another box. So the shipper is nothing special. It's just a brown box and it has like a WWE logo and then an Ultimate Edition logo, which is something we've seen quite a few times now. Nonetheless, with those things being said, man, let's go ahead and crack these Ultimate Editions out of the box and find out what the hell you get in the Survivor Series jaw-dropping debuts Ultimate Edition 2-pack. So once you open up that big yellow box, you do get two individually packaged action figures that are sealed. These are actually sealed figures, and they're in the classic Ultimate Edition look. As you guys can see, you have the Undertaker here, and we have the Gobbledygooker. Still insane that we even have this guy, and it's kind of crazy. Like, are we going to get more Ultimate Edition 2-packs that are jaw-dropping debuts? Like, is this going to become a series? Can you imagine doing jaw-dropping debuts and having 2-packs to, to be a regular thing? Like, once a year, you get an Amazon-exclusive 2-pack of a jaw-dropping debut. I'm definitely for it. I think it would be amazing, but here's The Undertaker. Here's Gobbity Gooker, man, if you want to see the figure in its entirety. There's The Undertaker, a shot of the guy there. On the back, you get a shot, you know, product shot, Brother Love over there, and then you get Undertaker. Very cool stuff. This, of course, is his second Ultimate Edition, and then we have the very unique Gobbledy Gooker action figure, man. Gobbledy Gooker at the top. You have the shot there. Not a ton of accessories, but when you're getting this very unique sculpt and, like, everything's one of one, I don't know how the hell they're going to reuse any of this, if they ever can. There's a shot of the Gooker on the side. And then we do get the, the shot there. You get the shot there. Big old egg, 510. Gobble Gobble with the finisher, 24-7 champion. Very unique. Of course, Gobbledy Gooker on the side. And that is our packaging for these guys, including the box set. Now, the other thing that you get is very unique. And it actually is the Survivor Series Build-A-Figure Egg that comes with this figure. So you guys can see here on the back and on the front, it's literally just plain black. It's just plain black there. And on the side, you get Survivor Series. Got the question marks, of course. At the top, same deal on the side same deal and on the back it says survivor series it's got the egg on there and it shows you how to connect it so the egg gets its own box piece and uh that, that's pretty crazy man so these three things come individually packaged when you open up the yellow box that are kind of all three stacked on top of each other and you also get these really cool prints so you get the survivor series like crowd print background and on the other side it is like a brick wall pattern and then you you actually get two of these so you get two brick wall pattern and survivor series kind of crowd shots there and they're pretty much the exact same so you get two of the same thing there. You can put them side by side if you want to. So that's kind of cool. You do kind of get these like construction paper cardboard you know sheets there. Then you have the broken egg box and then you do have them individually packaged here. So with those things being said man let's go ahead and crack both of these figures out of their individual packaging. Put them on the rotating base that I finally found and find out what the hell this Amazon 2-pack is all about. Get over here you sons of bitches. 
So here's The Undertaker and Gobbledy Gooker out of the packaging, man. And I gotta say, I really enjoy this set, but I do have my gripes about this set. We're gonna dive into those things, of course, and uh, we're gonna be real here. We're gonna be real about the entire thing, but one thing that I can say out the gate is I love the obscurity of it. You guys know that I enjoy action figures that feel good in hand. I enjoy action figures in general. It doesn't really matter who the character is. If I like the character or enjoy the character of the set action figure, I obviously will enjoy it more if I have my own biases or personal preferences and things of that nature. However, I can appreciate a a really unique set, regardless of who the characters are. So with those things being said, man, I really do like this set so far, but we're going to dive into the details, of course, man. Let's go ahead and dive into the Undertaker's accessories and the Undertaker, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at the Gooker's accessories and the Gooker, and of course, we will check out our Build-A-Figure egg accessory. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up and dive into the Undertaker figure. All right, so diving into the Undertaker's accessories, you get uh, quite a bit. I mean, I know you get two different sections of gloves or two different pairings of gloves here, which is very cool. You get some cloth goods, interchangeable heads, pretty much the standard for Ultimate Editions outside of maybe a championship or something like that, but with all the gooby and the gawk that you get, with I didn't like that. I, 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 I apologize for that. Now, getting into the first Undertaker head sculpt, I don't think this is a brand new head sculpt, but if it is, I think they nailed it. Just that wide-eyed expression. I think it looks like a great young Mark Calloway. Five o'clock shadow looks good. Hair color looks good. I mean, he does have kind of a tan going on instead of the paleness, but I think it kind of adds realism to it, kind of, and I think it looks pretty good here. Hair sculpt is nice. Beard is nice. This nails it. When I look at classic Undertaker, this is what I think of. So that nails it. And then we have the pissed off Mark Calloway. And it looks like my eyes may be misprinted just a hair, but I still like it. I think this, you know, pissed off grimacing head sculpt is very good. I mean, they nailed the sculpt. They nailed the beard. Again, the true effects look good. And I still think, yeah, you see how like my eye, my eye looks like it's kind of protruding there. I think my eyes printed a little bit too high, but I still think it looks okay. Eyebrows look good. I like this, this expression too. Brand new head sculpt here for the Undertaker with the Ultimate Edition. Now, one thing you can't leave out with the Undertaker is his signature hat and his coat and this hat fits really really well man this hat fits really good, and I love the shape of it. Like, look at that right there, man. Looks like he's gonna bury you alive, doesn't it? Look, he's gonna pile drive you to oblivion. It's gonna choke slam you to hell. So I really dig the cowboy hat. I think this is the. I don't think this is a new sculpt or anything, but damn, that look at that. The brim is super nice. I don't know if they the, what they did here, but it's not you know morphed or shaped, mis weird. You know what I'm saying? We also get the classic Undertaker tie. Now this is a stretchy band that they have right here, and then it is you know sewn onto the tie here. The, sh the tie does have the nice stripes in there. It's shimmery. It's got a nice thing there. You got the front tie flap and then the back tie flap, which I think this looks pretty good. I think it could be darker. It's a bit of a lighter gray and it's kind of coming off purpley or kind of like lighter gray on camera, but it is a little bit darker there, but I think they could have went a couple shades darker, but nonetheless, it still looks good and I like it on the figure. It looks really nice. Now, one of the best trench coats that Undertaker's ever worn in Mattel figure history is this one. I love this trench coat. I wish that more figures would come with this style trench coat and I apologize for the exposure, but if I don't, I'm going to lower it just a little little bit here just so you guys can see yeah, it's not as blown out there that looks a lot better the contrast looks good but this material is like a I don't even know what the hell material that is but it, it I, <laughs> I don't know but it's not like it's cloth but it's a weird feeling cloth kind of a tarp material not quite a tarp material but very tarp light and it feels really good and it looks good too on the figure I mean we've seen this before on a, the legends figure on the three pack figure with the raw three pack the you know the target exclusive elite three pack so this is a very nice accessory I love when they include this trench coat it's a very nice one one and I hope to see this in the future as well. Especially because back then, this is kind of the style that it was. It wasn't the, you know, that leather coat. It was more of this feel. Now, for your interchangeable gloves, you do get wrist gauntlets that, you know, if you were to put these gloves on, this would come up over your wrist. I think this is a really clever way they do it. I mean, we've seen this plenty of times in the past, but here are the black ones that go on the right and left wrist. And then you do plug in the hands here, which are the gloved hands. You have the black gloves, which I do believe was his debut gloves. He had black gloves and then later he switched to the gray, then he switched to the purple. I think that's the accuracy there, but all the gloves look good here. Nice sculpted. And then we do have this new glove sculpt in black. Don't think we've ever seen this son of a bitch. And then we do have the, you know, the entrance style hands, like the, you know, the Undertaker pose style hands. We've seen these hands before, but I don't think we've ever seen them in black. So the black colorway looks good on these. And the sculpts are really nice. I think these look really, really good. And the, like, this is some of the best sculpt work you'll see on some hands from Mattel. Then you have the other side, which is the gray glove sculpt, which is the exact same stuff that we got with the black version, except they are in this, like, matte gray. So you do have the gauntlets, and then you do have the gloved hands with the mic holding there, which also look really good sculpted. 
And then, of course, like we said, you do get the entrance style hands, which also are sculpted really nicely. And the flat gray is very accurate. I think these look really, really good. And I like that they give you options there between the black and the gray. So these are really nice. So taking a look at the Undertaker man, starting out the head sculpt again, really nice head sculpt on here, and I think it is a new head sculpt. I think it's just very similar to other ones, but it looks really, really good here. The shirt here is something I'm pretty sure we've seen this before. Very, something very, very similar. You know, you got the sculpted stuff over the shoulders there, which looks really good. Double jointed arms. The arms are pretty damn big. They put those same like mankind arms on there, and this is something that I don't like about the figure straight off. It's just some of the proportions here, right? Like the torso looks skinny compared to like the really jacked arms. Like I feel like they could make him wider, maybe. Make the crotch wide. I just think that Undertaker figures in general could probably be bigger. You know, just like the girth of the figure, the size of his torso, things like that. I think they could improve upon that. Similar to like a Kane Ultimate Edition. There's the black gloves on there, which looks good. All this is the same, like as far as like the crotch piece and then these legs we've seen on Undertaker multiple times. But this is a brand new lower leg or boot mold here, which looks really, really good. I really enjoy this. I think this looks great. No longer do you have to worry about these like sliding up. This is its own boot mold. So you can just articulate this, man. You got the boot covers on there. And he does have the Ultimate edition feet in there so th that's like one of my favorite parts about the figure is this newly sculpted uh boot here or this boot mold which is very clever now this figure in general does move around pretty damn smoothly i'd say he does have the drop down hips which you know you can say what you want about that you can get the leg drop in there big boot maybe all those things but i do like this figure i, I really really do you know the skin tone again is, is kind of more tan than it is pale which they've kind of done for undertaker the last few undertaker figures but standing here i really like it nonetheless let's get into some undertaker figure comparison Comparisons. So for your Undertaker figure comparisons, guys, we do have the first Ultimate Edition here on the right, and then we do have the Raw 30th Anniversary figure here. I think this is the Raw 30th Anniversary figure. And then we do have the Decade of Domination figure over here, which is pretty much the Elite equivalent of this Ultimate Edition, but it does have some different things going on. The tie's different. The trench coat's a little different. It doesn't have the sculpted gloved hands. It also has the boot covers instead of the sculpted boot covers. So they did improve the Elite, converting it into Ultimate. But this is really sweet to see these up next to each other. Of course, very similar figures here. And I'm sure this is not going to be the only two Ultimate Edition Undertakers we get. I guarantee we'll probably see five more Ultimate Undertakers like in the next few years. Like I could just see that. There's so many different iterations they can make. And hopefully they're the best of the best. I'd like to see an American Badass. I'd like to see a Dead Man like 2009, 2010. Hell, even mid-2000s. You know, 2000, maybe like WrestleMania 20, the return of the Dead Man would be beautiful. But it is cool to see these, uh, you know, these comparisons up next to each other as far as Undertaker figures are concerned. All right, man. So for the Gobbledygookers accessories, we do get two interchangeable head sculpts and then two pairs of interchangeable hands. Nothing else outside of the broken egg or the entrance egg or the display egg, if you will, which we will get into, of course. But these head sculpts are super massive. I mean, they are absolutely massive and they should be, you know, they're like a mascot head. So that's cool. You get this version, which I don't know the exact, you know, the details of the versions. I'm sure somebody can let me know down below, but it is really good. I, I think they look really good. The sculpts are nice. Everything like that. This is so, sort of your like soft hair material a little bit. Does it, it's not as pliable maybe, but the sculpt is really nice, man. And it's a hard head sculpt there, and then you have the other version there, which I think I do prefer this version. It just fits better, I think. And we will show what they look like on, you know, on the figure itself so you guys can see. But this is <laughs> this is so crazy to have, man. I mean, these are insane. You guys can see there. So you do have the inner chain. I feel like this one kind of sits a little bit low on the neck, but uh, they, they both look good in there. But you do get the two different options, which are very unique. And uh, yeah, we're never going to see this again. So take advantage of it. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get these like gloved hands. So you get the mic holding hands and the yellow with the black, you know, just regular yellow gloves, you know, for the, the hands of the turkey or the gobbledygookers there, so that's pretty interesting. And then would you look at that, the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard handshaking wide open massive handshaking hands make an appearance here in the two-pack, so that's pretty iconic, but they don't have the glove sculpt, so they are just like bare hands painted, but they get the job done, I guess. So getting into the gooker himself, man, you guys can see the head sculpt on there looking pretty good. Now this is just the one that I rolled with here, but I, you know, I, I just feel like, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and pop this one off. So you guys can see what this one looks like on the figure here. Let's pop this one off and let's put on the other one so you guys can see that one as well but you pop this on here and again it just kind of limits your articulation here like if you turn it all the way it's going to pop off because the you know the front beard quote unquote or the gobbledy stuff here going on you know but there's the figure on here and like all this is like sculpted on but it is like a rubber softer material you know think of like entrance coats but not as hard I'd say but one thing that I have found is just this this left arm pops off extremely easy for me and I've tried like different stuff like popping it in there and trying but every time I try it does pop off so like once I get it in there I don't even move the arm man like don't even at least for me I can't get it to stay in there like look it's kind of like straight out as you guys can see but if I try to like move it down like that's it that uh, yeah see it pops right out so I don't know man
man, that really, really gets on my nerves. I'm just going to try and like keep it in a spot and I'm never going to articulate it again just because that's very, very annoying. The, the right arm I don't have that issue with, but you guys can see the colors in the sculpt. This is all like layered sculpts that do slide down the arm, but it's pretty uniform and you guys can, you know, it's not going to give you an ab crunch really. You do get some like diaphragm turn. We'll go over the articulation, but you have the yellow gloves in there going down. Uh, underneath here, you do have the uh, like orange tights. You got the stripes in there. He does not have drop down hips, but but he, you know, he can move pretty decent. And then what's really cool is the, uh, like, claw feet down here, which don't have Ultimate Edition articulation, but I like it, and, you know, he doesn't have, like, lower leg cut or anything. But getting into the articulation, again, this is single-jointed, I'm pretty sure. If it's double-jointed, it's really hard to do because the arm just kind of pops off, but I think it's single-jointed right here. You do get uh, diaphragm movement here. Not really a pivot, for real, to be honest with you. Maybe a little bit of a pivot. You do get the waist swivel, of course, and then uh, he can kick forward pretty good. He's got double-jointed knees. He does have thigh rotation, and then the, the feet down here don't have any ankle pivot they're literally just a rotation right there no ultimate like it's it can't go down it can't go up it just spins around so you just get rotation so he's a little bit hard to stand at points but the biggest thing for this figure is just the left arm popping out on me like I don't even want to look at it because it pops out and that really just grinds my gears but figure does look pretty cool I mean it's a very unique piece it's very you know crazy outside the box and very unique but let's get into some gobbledygooker figure comparisons so for your obscure ultimate edition figure comparison I did go with the Mattel Creations crowdfunding doink Ultimate Edition. I just feel like this is the best comparison because they're both very unique Ultimate Editions. And I'm sure this isn't the end of it. I think we're going to get more unique Ultimate Editions. You know, Mattel likes to go outside the box and give us these crazy things. So that is definitely something that's going to take place, I imagine. And, you know, we still have more unique things coming in the future. But I think out of the two, I definitely prefer the doink. I mean, it, I, you know, I, I mean, you can call this an Ultimate Edition, but it's not that much of an Ultimate Edition, to be honest with you. You can pop the arms off. And, I mean, you could, like, you know, you could pop this off, you can pop this off, you can pop this off, you can pop that off, and that is what it looks like underneath, so if you guys were wondering, I don't know if this is going to be like maybe the Mankind torso or something like that that's coming soon, or maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a Kevin Owens like top part of an Elite, but it does have the Ultimate Edition shoulders, so I don't know, but maybe if I, like look at that, even if I pop this in all the way, putting that down automatically unplugs it, and that is just so damn annoying, man, Jesus. Yeah, that's super damn annoying, but I'm just going to put this on here, dude. I, once I plug this in, I'm just leaving it, man. I don't even give a damn anymore. Jesus Christ. Right arm's fine. It's the damn left arm. Maybe I need to do some surgery on it. I don't know, but there is one more thing I want to do with this figure before we uh, get the hell out of here. And of course, show you guys the breakaway egg. From our time at WrestleMania weekend, Johnny Gargano, I even asked him. I said, hey, when I get the gobbledygooker, I'm going to have to put your head sculpt onto my gobbledygooker figure. So, good to meet you, man. Thank hey, you, now, man. now i got to pop a Johnny Gargano head on my gobbledygooker. You have to. There you, you, have go. To. There you go. There you go. Awesome. Here it is, Johnny. Are you proud of me? But seriously, though, that's pretty unique. You can put, like, other guys' head sculpts on there and make a gobbledygooker, but this is accurate to that time that I met Johnny Gargano, so that's pretty cool. That is going to wrap up our review of this gobbledygooker action figure. Now, for your build-a-figure egg accessory or action figure, I mean, it's an accessory, right? It does have, like, this uh, sort of, like, nest or hay sculpt down here, and it's just, like, it's just a hollow piece of plastic here, and it comes with two separate pieces that you just have to put together here. You line up the whole with the you know the little pegs and then you just shove it together press on it a little bit and then boom it comes together it is kind of difficult to get it apart so once you slam it together it is a little bit harder to get it apart there but uh, you can't put the top on there. It doesn't really like clip on, but it does have a spot where you can like take it off. Or at least I haven't found a way to really get it to securely stay on there. But I mean, I, I just kinda, what do you want, man? It's just a freaking egg, you know? And you just pop that off there and you guys can see how big it is. And then, I don't know, very unique, you know? You can stick the gooker down in there. There you go. I mean, this is pretty cool, man. Pretty freaking cool. I think, you know, I hate that it's hollow and everything like that, but this package, uh, this packaging was already massive and they broke it down. So I can't really imagine how damn much more more big it would be but there's the top part of the shell and there's the egg man gobbledygooker in his egg glory i mean you get the egg shell it's cracked open on the top and that pretty much wraps up your your build a figure egg but i think that pretty much wraps up our survivor series 1990 jaw-dropping debut ultimate edition amazon exclusive two-pack of the undertaker and gobbledygooker man very very interesting set man i think my overall thoughts are i really do enjoy the undertaker figure i really really do i think some of the proportions are off a little bit like i think the torso could be in improved upon. I think that some other things 
could be improved upon there, but I think it's a really good execution of The Undertaker. Not as pale as maybe we'd like, but I do like the realistic tones to it. I, I appreciate that. The hat fits really well. I love this trench coat. It's one of my favorite trench coats that they do from Mattel. I've seen it multiple times, as we've seen in this video, of course, from past figures from Mattel, but I really do like The Undertaker figure a lot. Now, as far as the gobbledygooker, I love the obscurity of it. I love that we're finally getting him, and we can finally have this figure out. However, I, I am pretty annoyed with just how the arms keep falling off, and I understand the rubber pieces and stuff like that that fall off of there. And it does allow for some great details and things of that nature. I think the execution is solid. It's just that those damn arms falling off really does bother me. Not the best mobile figure. Like, it feels smooth when it can move, but you do have to be careful moving him around because he will fall apart a little bit and things of that nature. However, I do enjoy the figure. I like what we have going on here. I think that they did a really excellent job with this pack, and I hope that we get more stuff like this, man. I think that, you know, stuff like this is really obscure. Like I said, I think it's really interesting. It keeps collecting fun. Get some crazy characters, not always the same guys over and over and over again, so I appreciate this, and I think that this is a really nice pack, a very unique set, and I think this set will be looked upon fondly, but I think the execution of the gobbledygooker, at least, I just wish that those damn arms wouldn't fall off, you know, like, consistently like that, and he's a little bit difficult to stand at times, but really fun set, really cool stuff, and if you guys want to pick this up, it is Amazon exclusive, I don't know if it's in stock or up for pre-order again, or what the deal is there, however, I still really like this set, and I think it was a fun one, man. Interested to see where the Ultimate edition ranking. We're going to do the top 10 ultimate editions of the year at the end of the year. Will either of these guys be on there? We will have to find out, man, but that is going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. Before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron exclusive members. Always appreciate those guys. On the 30th of the month, we always do a figure giveaway, and this giveaway that we ran today is actually the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition, Mattel Creations Exclusive. Always love the patron supporters, man. Appreciate you guys so very much, but I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down below. Did you grab this set? Did you skip out on it? Did you wait for the review to pick it up? What are your thoughts there? I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>